Nice. So, uh, yeah, progress. Are you guys ready? No. No. Okay, well, we'll get started. All right. My name is I'm a master of persistence and I do what it takes. Okay. And signs of that coming true are serious today. So it's 738. Really? Let's do it. Oh, the infinite stuff? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what I did yesterday. You did that cool spreadsheet thing. Sort of. Oh, I did. Mm, that's true. And for me, that's like has to do with how I'm really talented with manipulating data and finding information. I'm a hard worker. I do what it takes. Signs of that coming true. Yesterday was a oh my god day. Yeah. But got it all done. Do I have an affirmation? Uh, I'm a master of persistence. I'll do what it takes. And signs of that coming true is going to pick up all of Jason's equipment yesterday night. Really. Excellent. Okay. Rocks. I'm just gonna stop you guys from having a good day today. Mad Max. Mad Max. Mad Max. They're my rock. In general? Yeah, because they fucking undercut the whole market. Oh my god, they're yeah. killing everybody with their BenQ's monitors right now. But Every product. Try, we're trying to find out how to get swapped to buy monitors from us, and it's kind of hard when Memex discounts by a hundred fucking dollars. Yeah, hundred. Our cost. They're beating us by over two hundred. Yeah. It's insane. Where are they getting? You know, like it's something I'm going to have to open up a conversation with Cinex about and say, look, this this is the kind of market we're in over here. We've got a guy, you know, retailer that's actually got a wholesaler license, and they're using it to the full advantage. So if you guys want a bigger chunk of the market with us, you guys got to start working with us. And that's the conversation I'm going to try and open up with Cinex, which well, I don't think is going to get very far. Yeah, yeah besides Memex has a lot more higher volume of selling than yeah, we oh yeah. ever will. Oh yeah, well the retail. Yes. Yeah. But have a conversation. Yeah, if you can we'll work see if we can even get out. some sort of a discount, you know, or some sort of a help on certain things now and then. Sure. It's, hey, if, if we can do that, it'll help us. That's my rock today. Mm -hmm. The witch? Crunch. My time, time crunch. crunch. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe you shouldn't take so much time off. <laughs> Way to push the buttons. Jamie. Me. Oh, thank you. We're all like Pavlov's dog. In what capacity? We will do whatever we think yields the reward we think we want. Whatever way we think we can get it fastest or best or whatever. Well, that's as good a lesson as any to draw from what I'm going to be dubbing Salt Week. Salt Week? Yep. Salt Week. <laughs> Salty is such a funny thing to be talking about because it's like the best part about me being a salty person is that uh, when I'm salty and other people have wounds, like emotional wounds, my saltiness makes it more painful for them. Pardon? Catalyst for hurt. Yeah, like literally putting salt in a wound. I figured that's what you They're like, oh, my wounds. I'm like, see? That lesson, that fucking picture with those two dudes standing over that girl in the fucking grocery store, it's so hard for all of us. It's so hard for us to just, like, separate someone throwing a temper tantrum from the content of the temper tantrum. One of the things that makes us different from anyone else you've likely worked for before, or worked with before, is that we're multidisciplinary and we're able to provide an effective and, and 
managed business development process. And so one of the things that will, will be effective is our ability to knowledge transfer to you how real businesses operate in terms of managing infrastructure, in terms of um, how your email should be configured. It would be prudent for you guys to have an on-brand domain-based email account. There's going to be things that happen to you that because you're not engaged on this computer will get in the way of you being able to do your work effectively. Maybe it doesn't run as good as you want. There's, there's hidden costs to all of that stuff. And not having a partnership where you know confidently I can pick up the phone and have the problem solved like this. Yeah. Or I can dump my to-do list into a company that I know will keep track of it, project manage that for me, bring it to my attention, prioritize it against what I want for my company, okay. and help me knock those things out at a pace and a cadence that makes sense according to my budget. There's a, there's a psychology that emerges that's empowering by having those resources in play. We don't want to build a company that just does what we're told and fixes what's broken. We want to like be like, okay, what's your six month growth plan? Like, and how do we reverse engineer that? And what deficiencies exist today? And what are all the hidden costs that could be recovered and converted to margin or revenue if we're able to eliminate the roadblocks? And quick and convenient access to IT support is a huge one because that little thing where it's like that one application takes seven seconds to load 28 times a day makes you hate your life. And when, <laughs> and when you hate your life and you hate your computer, it's hard to cover that up for the customer. <laughs> so, Jen, optimal car layout no, policy. Well, See? With the yellow? We're in the parking lot now. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. I want a building like this. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. You have to buzz in. It's a kid's thing. Oh. Like you've got to like... Are they not even... Push... I was pulling on the wrong door. <laughs> My name is Alexander. Hi, Alexander. I'm the IT support for Hearth and Home Across the Street. Oh, okay. We're on a conquest to try to find a way to get them decent internet. Okay. And I'm interviewing just trying to find out who along this road has Shaw and who doesn't. Actually, I think they've told us they don't have it in this area. They don't. Yeah. They have to trench up the road yeah. and they want yeah. them to pay for yeah. it. Yeah. Can I give you the owner's card? Yes. And if you want to email him. Okay. <laughs> Who are these people? What is this? Building and yard for lease. This place is like empty. This could be our new home. Hi, Hello. how are you? Good, yourself? Good. My name is Alex. Hi. We do the IT support for Hearth and Home. There yes, is I want to try internet. You do? <laughs> yes, we replied five times. I'm Alex. <laughs> it's only like I'm out here for this conversation. Yeah. I'm, tr I'm coming. Like, what's this guy selling me? I'm coming up with a solution. I'm just trying to find out. So you're a yes if I can get them to do something you would buy in and switch? We've we applied every year, yeah. Sick. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time, guys. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Because here's the thing. What is this? They could trench up the road or they could just fucking string the fiber on these poles. It wouldn't be like... The thing is, TELUS owns these poles, so Shaw would have to fucking... And the thing is, it's like they've got rules. See how that wire is at that height and the top wire is at that height? Yeah. They have, they have all these rules about your position on the pole and like how far it has to be from other wires. Thing is, we could solve everyone's problem. We could solve everyone's problem if this company is willing to play ball. What we would need to do is activate three services, okay, three Shaw services here, right, a pole could go right here on this corner and I could beam one antenna this way, one antenna here to these guys and one antenna straight that way and we could get everyone on this road internet if these guys are willing to play ball. Okay, so We're setting up three new internets. So the setup is eaten cost by whomever. Then, no. and all of these guys agree to give them a kickback. Yeah, because they have to get something for it. Should be fine. So my next step then is to email these guys. Because yeah. that's going to be easier than getting Shaw to build any day. Oh. So he doesn't know anything about it, that's fine. I'm just set up that meeting, oh. maybe. Okay, basically what I wanted to do was like, uh, we can do geofencing, like a one mile radius on the convention center. And then like position your, uh, 
like the reno featured ad, like the video yeah. reel, and then do a call to action, try to drive people to booth. So if we can get their attention before they even get to the grounds and then set an intention for them to come to the booth and we can increase traffic and hopefully that traffic is higher quality. Absolutely. So, yeah, so that's really so like the basic level. You. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, creating a social experience at the booth where people feel like they want to take a selfie is one of the most effective ways to multiply up the value of a trade show booth. Okay. And so we had some crazy ideas like setting up a fake fire roast so people can come roast s'mores, right. right? Create a social experience and then you get all the organic social sharing and all that kind of stuff, yeah. which is a bit it's aggressive extreme. for the <laughs> September trade show. But we're just trying to help create, like how do we get social engagement is, yeah. ahead of that very person to person trade show stuff. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. This is the end of salt week. You know, sometimes people are just in a salty mood and that's life. And what we try to do at Daily Genius is to document life, our life. And if we're salty, then the episode's gonna be salty. You know, sometimes when I'm making these, I, I really struggle uh, finding the right balance between sort of entertaining stuff and the day in the life stuff. Sometimes it's not always super interesting to watch what we do in a day, but I think that you, you can get something out of it. You can get something out of watching us work, watching Alexander work. Um, we're cool people to be around and I hope that you enjoy watching us as we do whatever we do in a day. If you liked today's episode, and if you didn't like today's episode, tell us why, make a comment, make sure to share and follow this video so we can reach more people, because that's always the goal, right? I wanna make something that everyone can see. And uh, if you help me do that, thumbs up. Thanks, guys. By the way, look at how majestic this tree is. Like, look at how nice that is. Look at the colors there. Isn't that just fantastic? And the way that it spread leaves upon the ground. Man, fall's a really great season. Can't wait for hockey to start.